Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lair of the Overmind for the 19th installment of my Let's Play Undertale Pacifist run. So, we just got done fighting Muffet and dealing with spider horribleness, so we're going to continue on forward. Oh, this is a cool looking setting. Oh, that human! What in the world? Could it be? He's wearing a dress. My one true love! Oh jeez. Oh jeez. What's going on? Oh my love. Please run away. Monster King forbids your stay. This is reminding me of the opera scene, kind of, from Final Fantasy VI. <sighs> this is awesome. Live far apart, even if it breaks my heart. They'll put you in the dungeon. It'll suck. And then you'll die a lot. <laughs> You're not the best singer, Metaton. Really, sir? Yeah, there you go. The yeah, definitely Final Fantasy VI opera feels feels here. Cry, cry, cry! So sad, it's happening. <laughs> hey, a little shooting star. So sad, so sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, Toodles! Should have seen that coming. <laughs> oh no! Whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly my paramour will surely perish. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise. And then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you'd better hurry, because if you don't get through in 30 seconds, you'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. Ah ha 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 ha. My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Oh, my love has fallen down. Now in tears, we all will drown. Ah, colored tiles, make them a fool. Ah. How do I get through? What? I can't get through anyhow. Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. No. They're closing in. Alfie's help. Getting closer. Oh, my. Any minute now. <coughs> oh, wa watch out. I'll save you. I'm hanging into the firewall right now. Yeah. Oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Th that's right. Come on, Minotaur. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound and then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me! Ugh. Ark. <laughs> yell. You yell. Nothing happened. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. 
Hey, 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 the same span, dude, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Phone's act menu, yellow. Press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Now press C. Oh, jeez. I can shoot. Oh, oh, you've defeated me. How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc., etc. Jeez, what? Well, looks like you did a you did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. All thanks to you. Well, what? Oh no, no. I mean, you, you were the one doing everything cool. I just uh, wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, hey this might sound strange, but can, can I tell you something? But before I met you, I, I didn't really I didn't really like myself very much. Oh, Alfie's. I think you and Napstablook should get to know each other. <laughs> For, for a long time, I felt like I was a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without without ending up letting everyone down. But guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So uh, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, any, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past Mint Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Yeah, let's get her done. Bring back that awesome Hotland music. Man, we had a lot of tile to go. Jeez. Oh, hey, look, it's the it's the two brothers. Oh, hey, we're, like, talking a rain, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. <laughs> I bet. Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all of my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Thanks, I guess. Oh, hey. It's Heat's Flamesman. Hey, hey. Did you remember my name? Yes, I did. What? You remember? How can I be so easily defeated? Uh, you didn't even ask me what it was. I'll always remember that you remembered. Okay. Cool beans. Yeah, oh. Look at what we have here. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. That sounds horrible. <laughs> hey, I heard you're going to the court. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, sure, Sans. Let's do it. Great. It's, uh, thanks for treating me. <laughs> hey, I didn't say I'd treat you. Over here. I know a shortcut. You always know a shortcut, man. You crazy guy. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I you know the feeling, you know? Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't really have much info about the life I had before I came down here, so... Not sure. Oh, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a century in Stone Forest, right? I sit out here, watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking it out, like usual, I knock on the door and say, knock-knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Uh... So that's that's tutorial. That's tutorial. That's definitely tutorial. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep it coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, "Knock knock." I say, "Who's there?" Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Well, needless to say, this woman was extremely good. 
<laughs> we kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And then I did it again, and again, and it's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, no, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If you would ever come through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them? Will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you just can't say no to. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? Uh, I don't know, what? Uh, scare. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Oh no! Helter Skelter! Helter Skelter! <laughs> hey, lighten up, Bucko. I'm just joking with you. Ah, uh, something tells me you're not joking. <laughs> Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't even died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yeah, I think I died once or twice. Actually, yeah. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. If someone really cares about you. Uh, okay. I guess you just shortcut it out of the building. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. Um, okay, weird, wide-eyed guy, whatever. Hey, look, it's Hellboy. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks, but now, building things wide and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go uh, two feet without your armpits and puzzles. I work at the core. Inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shovel the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day! I sure love puzzle! Okay. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. So we ran into your son, and he kind of ran off. So, yeah. Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Everything. Everything. Hey. This is a cool looking place. Welcome to Man Resort, Holland's biggest apartment building theme turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, Man Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through. Nice. Mid Resort prides itself on being passed through! <laughs> Whoa, you guys look a bit weird. These elevators go straight in the capital, but it's not working. The hotel's doing its best to count and everybody's stuck here. Oh yeah, it's not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hard to get up. <laughs> it's a slime, I'm outraged. As a slime, you're outraged. Okay. That's Metaton, just uh, pouring water all over the ground. There's an inscription on the fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain built 21X. Metaton added last week. <laughs> okay, the okie dokie. see. Ooh, ah, room service. Got my CT. No, but I had CT at some point earlier. It's locked from the inside. Ooh, ah. Room service. Got my cinnamon bun? No, but I could probably go get one. You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Put. You put a dog salad in front of the door. It slides underneath. The dog salad was absorbed by the darkness. So is there something specific that I can put under there? Maybe? Hey, this guy looks like he's having some cleanup troubles. Seems busy. Oh, man. Just can't, just can't catch a break, can you, dude? 
Just can't catch a break. Alright, well I'm assuming that this goes back to the alleyway spot, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and go up to this alley and see what we got up in here. Oh, whoa! Uh... Hey, check it out! Yeah, like, totally check it out! Talk. So, like, what's up? About you two. I'm Brady, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, like, Brady. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, no. <laughs> About you two, uh, your wares. The, the stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, the stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally wicked buy all of it. Origin wear is new. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it in the garbage. Um, it's good garbage. Like, really good garbage. Oh, jeez. Where do we get the... Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. Oh, jeez. Origin of garbage... We already found that out. About Metaton. Oh my god, Metaton. He's like, my robot husband. Actually, he's like, my robot husband. I think we're like, both going to marry him. We're like, both already married to him. He's just like, doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> New. So like, Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you. But, like, Metaton acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Brady. <laughs> Best friends forever. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, Alphys. She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. <laughs> I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump, she showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. New. No. So Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore was a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. With a robot soul, that's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton Asgore, ask her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little, girl. Yeah, like us. Asgore. Oh my god, he's a total goober. Man, that's not very nice. Say about your, your supposed king person. Who helps guide you and your, your monster people. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's like so nice. God, we're like so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Jeez. Alright, let's see what you got. You should buy all our stuff. Cowboy hat. Ooh, a mystery key. Probably to someone's house. Buy it. Braddy, we're gonna be rich. We're all sold out. Meow. We're all sold out. Yeah. Cool. Don't want the gun. Don't need the gun. Like, see you later. Like, later and stuff. Jeez. So annoying. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and bring the episode to a close here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't before. Share this with your friends. All the good social stuffs that you're probably way used to hearing by now. And I will see you all for the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.